What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony, this is Warframe, and we're going to be playing with a miter today. This thing is aesthetically very much like uh, the Spin Fuser from Tribes and of course the Ripper from Unreal Tournaments. Uh, I was hoping it'd be a little bit like the Ripper, where the Ripper essentially is, uh, it, it kind of feels like, uh, I guess you like the Akboltals or something, where you just basically, just click, 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 firing away discs and they're bouncing off the walls, and it's a very, a very hectic and crazy weapon, it's a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, Spin Fuser has its own things, uh, but I was hoping this would be kind of like the Ripper, right? Where the Ripper, you would just basically tap, tap, and throw discs all over the place. I thought that that would have been great. Uh, obviously, you can see I'm leaning towards the fact that I'm not really impressed with this weapon. I'm not. I, I, in the end, I, I'm, I'm really not in its current states. Sure, it's a little broken right now, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. Uh, the, the broken part is that it doesn't matter if you charge it for 0.1 seconds or the full duration of the charge, uh, it still fires the same amount. It does function a lot like the Dread, it does function a lot like the Paris, and the way that it fires where you charge a shot and you let it go, but in this case, it doesn't matter if you just tap it or if you hold it down for the full duration. So today we're gonna be running with uh, Serration, pretty standard. Uh, piercing hit again standard uh, small multi shots. I'd say it again uh, And then here I'm gonna stack fire damage just you know just for the extra bonus damage for fun uh, I can swap this out for you know you can swap these things out for uh, electrical damage or whatever else you want uh, Magazine side doesn't size doesn't really matter too much because I think you get like 20 shots per mag on this thing so Getting more than that is really not that big of a deal because the reload time on this is actually pretty good It's like two seconds or something um Let's see, a speed trigger. You want this once once it's fixed and charging it actually matters, you'll want this. For now, I'm gonna throw it in there because not throwing it in there and putting something else in there would be unfair after this video is released and this thing is actually fixed. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through a Grenier uh, settlement area, not settlement, I'm sorry, a Grenier area, and we're gonna fight a boss. Here we go. All right, here we are with Captain Vor. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Throw a bullet attractor on him here. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, something got in the way. All right. Well, let's go ahead and show you what it does here. There you go. Boom. But that's a bullet attractor. It does normally. Obviously, we're not interested in what normal is. We want to see what abnormal is as soon as we find him. Now, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Don't. No one else get in the way here. Thank you. Boom. Now we got him. Let's go ahead and get back here. Throw in a couple shots. We can see what kind of mess it does. He's gonna go. He's gonna put on his shield here. Don't worry. Mine will probably last longer than his. I'm fairly certain it will. We're gonna go ahead and give it a second to go ahead and I'll reload while we're waiting here. Stay in viz and viz and uh, my shield wore out. Shield did not last longer than his, but it's all right. I'm gonna throw one in there so you can see what it looks like. Whoa! Come on, throw another one in there. You can see that it is doing uh, more than one hit. Am I getting the full five hits? It's kind of difficult to say, honestly. Uh, but if you watch this thing back, you'll see that there's about five or six numbers coming off it. Keep in mind, that multi-shot is on, so I'm getting like two shots for every one, guaranteed, pretty much. Uh, and occasionally, you know, I might squeeze a couple more. But uh, what you're seeing is uh, there's a little bit of uh, of bounce back in here. It's made to, just, to bounce off things and to last for more than one hit. It's bouncing off of him more than once. What it is not doing is it's not bouncing off of him five times times two. Okay, remember every shot that I'm firing because of multi-shot is giving me at least one more bonus disc, uh, which would mean that every shot's guaranteed two hits. Uh, which means I should get 10 total hits on this guy within a handful of seconds. It's not happening, but yeah, I am doing much more damage. So this thing functioning here, it doesn't function perfectly the way you'd expect it to on paper, uh, but it does do a, a, a pretty good job. So that's how it functions with uh, with the Grenier. Let me actually let me go ahead and get into a better position here so I can show you guys how this thing uh, functions. Not necessarily against the Grenier, sorry, but just against uh, bosses. So let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and kill a couple guys. You can see it bounces all over the place. Kind of, a, kind of an awesome effect. Who doesn't love this, right? It's a neat effect. It really, truly is. Uh, getting bank shots is a little difficult. Um, but what sucks is that whenever you line people up and you hit them, if you have dudes lined up, what happens? Well, it's gonna bounce behind you. So look at all these guys right here, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna get two. I got two guys there, I think. Maybe just one. But you're not because of the way it, it functions. It bounces back. Puncture is much more. Uh, useful than than this. Like, I'd much rather it go through things uh, than to sit here and try to line up multiple shots uh, like I'm playing pool or something. So let me go ahead and actually get to a better position down on here. There we go. There's two shots right there. That's a multi shot actually. Uh, so I did get two kills there. Let me see if I can go run down here. Maybe I can get if I can line them up here. Uh, see the one that went through was the second shot again. Line them up and then maybe do a pull and then what I'll do is uh, you'll be able to see just where this thing sh absolutely shines Here we go There's enough guys here should be good Charge it up 
There you go. So I took out, it was like three, maybe four guys there or something. Here again. Boom. That's where this thing shines. Obviously with mag, it's great because mag is designed to control projectiles, right? Projectiles. So this is where things shine. She could pull things close and then get that one hit off. Granted, you could probably do the same by just jumping up and slamming the ground with your frag or something. Uh, but lining up bank shots and such, you know, it's it, it's a bit of a... It takes a little bit of skill, and plus, keep in mind that most enemy or most walls in this game are not flat. You're not in a square or in a cube of sorts. You are in a room where there's tons of angles and everything. Uh, but uh, but yeah, using this thing with mag, you're gonna have some pretty neat uh, kind of effects and mechanics you can combine on bosses. Uh, and also, obviously, as you saw there, pulling things together and getting kills. I'm trying to get a bank shot here to get that dude. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what happens when we fight Infested. All right, so here we are in Zini. We're gonna have some uh, some some light infested coming right this way in just a moment, which is basically all of them except for the goddamn ancients. Uh, but serrated damage does triple damage to these guys, so that's gonna be pretty pretty amazing. I'm gonna let them kind of beat up on the uh, on the crowd pot for a minute. Surely I could crush them and just be done with it. Let me just beat this guy up <laughs> and pull him towards me. Five hundred, right? Somewhere four hundred something. I think is what we were seeing right there. Try it again. Let's see if we get some more. Right here, guys. Oh, oh, damn, damn, oh, oh, got the knockback. But you can see the damage is pretty, is pretty amazing. 1760 on that guy. Oh, it's a headshot, I think. 1760 again, double headshot, times two on that one. Let's see. Oh, I got a guy over here starting some shit. Whoop. Again. Nice, nice numbers. Beautiful numbers. But when is a weapon like this... You know, a charged weapon, because they're gonna fix it, and who knows what the base damage is gonna be after the, you know, for the uh, initial charge like that, like winding it up that far instead of fully. Uh, who knows what the damage is gonna be for that? But what I will say is, uh, typically you don't come in here with the dread or a Paris and start expected to be contributing in any form whatsoever, because it, you know, it's a charged weapon, and when you're faced with tons and tons of infested, you can't really expect to give too much in terms of contribution. Now, that being said, having the triple damage and everything, that's amazing. That's going to help you immensely. So you can be somewhat viable for the lower waves. Uh, once you get higher up, you could still kind of. But I mean, once you're being overrun by these guys, just forget it. Just don't even think that this weapon is going to be viable in the, in, the, in the higher end. Unless you have the support of teammates and such. In which case, probably. But uh, the thing is, once this thing hits something and it just bounces off, it's gone. Like, that's it. Like, you hit something, it takes off. If it had some kind of innate, uh, not puncture, but it's just, if it wasn't charged, if I get to spam a ton of them, much faster than this. Like, go look up the Ripper. Just type in Ripper Unreal Tournament, you'll see what I'm talking about. The Ripper was such a good weapon. It was very, very flexible because it allowed you to just basically spam it a bunch of times and do tons of damage. Uh, and it can be controlled. All you have to do is control the damage numbers in order to keep it from being OP. That's not a problem. But, you know, whenever you fire off a shot and it takes off in some random direction, uh, and not, you know, into the hordes of guys that you just, you know, you just lined up, then it kind of becomes useless. And that's, that's the reason why I really don't like this weapon. <laughs> Interesting mechanic, yes. Uh, was it pulled off in such a way that I think is, uh, would make it viable in anything? Not really. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, with mag, sure. With mag, it could do some pretty, pretty interesting stuff. But, uh, other than that, see you. No. Answers no. Some more guys. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut to some ancients so you guys can see how this thing fares against uh, some ancients here on wave five. Really quick while I'm here, uh, ricochets do not destroy barrels. I don't understand why that is. It just doesn't. I think it's kind of silly to be honest, but just so you guys know, it does not. All right, here we go. Wave five. We should have some infested, or sorry, some ancients coming over to uh, join the party here. Uh, I brought the frag ore along. I didn't even get all the mods on it because I was too busy just hurrying up to get in here. Uh, just, just to go ahead and make it easier for you to control some of the guy. Here we go. Here's, here's a dude. Looks pretty angry. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull them, stun them all. And then get a charge off. Oh crap! Got, got stunned. No. And you, boom. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Do a pull. Let me get out of there. Let me go ahead and do another pull. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm kind of neutralizing the, uh, the exploding guys here. There we go. Now you can see. Some pretty decent damage up from this thing, at the cost of a little bit of uh, of damage to my uh, <laughs> to the node here. But you can see it does fair amounts of damage, but not really. I mean, come on, let's not really that much. It's not that impressive. Uh oh, get in trouble. Let's go ahead and redeem myself here. Fix things. 
But yes, against Ancients, it does good. It's good. It's good. Obviously not as much as like Light Infested. Light Infested just shreds these guys. And if, uh, anything Light, Light Armored, best of wise, because it's three damage again. Uh, it's just going to get shredded by this thing, which is awesome. Which is what it should do. Honestly, makes perfect sense. It makes no sense if this thing shoots out a bladed disc. It does not do serrated damage. Here, here you go. Good shot. Boom. So what was that? Like four shots, right? Oh, a little less than four shots. Sure, we'll take that. Uh, I didn't have to charge it up the entire way, but I just want to give you guys an idea of you know what it's gonna be like when you do have to charge this thing all the way in order to get full damage. That's about what it. That's about how long it would take. Uh, that was with multi shot. That was with 135% uh, rifle damage. So it's again, it's good for point damage. It, unfortunately, it just does not quite. It just not quite deliver for me. It just doesn't. I just think that the, the the mechanic of being able to spam these things and have blades bouncing all over the place would have been much more fun than have a charge attack. Now, is that going to come maybe in a pistol version of this, shooting cute little blades and stuff like that? Uh, I don't have no idea. Uh, will it come uh, in a form of another rifle? Possibly. Can we possibly get a revamp on this thing? Hey, maybe. I would love that more than anything. I guess I'm stuck on the black screen here. It's pretty awesome. But I'm not even going to show you guys the corpus. Then you guys pretty much get the, the gist of this uh, and my feelings about uh, the miter. It is currently... Uh, currently not in the game, uh, in, in terms of, uh, of a blueprint, uh, but you can get it via Platinum right now. So I would just say, you know what, just wait on it in terms of Platinum, and just, uh, go back to it, uh, whenever it's available on a blueprint, so you can go and test it out for yourself. Uh, but that's it. Cool? So, Mike VAK Phony, this is the Miter in Warframe. I do have another one coming up for the Twin Gremlins. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Uh, that one is much, much better. Way, 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 way better uh, than the Miter. So you guys should probably stay tuned for that. I'll see ya.